Hello and welcome to the United States Amateur Disc Golf Championships presented by Discraft. This is a PDGA major that we have got the pleasure of headed to. It is at the Kensington Metro Parks Toboggan, famous redesign here in Milford, Michigan. And I'm joined today in the booth with Luke Taylor. How you doing, Luke? I'm doing good. Awesome. Here we have Evan Scott leading us off on this feature card. He's from South Carolina, 996, second highest rated player here, along with Kelsey. Super excited to have her here. I think this is her sixth uh, Amnats for her this year. Super excited to see what she can do. Yeah, we got myself going the elevator down, hopefully to bring my score down today as well. I'm all for it. Um, we got Robert from Houston, Texas. He's going to college and here's what he told me. And um, yeah, killer player. Yeah, highest rated player. Uh, we have the three highest rated players here on our card between you, Evan, and Robert. So kind of our three um, big contenders here. Excited to see how you guys do. As we head into hole one, uh, par three 477 feet traditional play here you see where the flags are blowing is to throw a forehand if you have that kind of power or you can throw a backhand um, depending again on your power I would probably see mid-range or fairway driver or something that'll hold that line uh, stay away from the OB on the left we got Kelsey throwing up uh, here first I'm not, I'm not really confident on her bag I don't know it very well yeah uh, neither do I all I know is something we talked about is that disc has a pangolin and die on yes. it, and you'll see her throw that a bunch. Um, and both Evan and her both getting the disc turned early, and that's really what you're looking for. The basket does go a little bit more right than you'd think off the tee, and with how downhill it is, it's really easy for the disc to kind of fade out. Robert's going to show you the forehand here, and he's just got a ton of power, both sidearm and backhand, yep. and you'll be seeing him crush shots today. I heard him talking to a couple people, and he's finally happy to kind of lock in that 300, a little more than 300 um, forehand, just like control power, which is perfect for this hole. Yeah, I'd say we both have similar power for um, mm -hmm. both backhand and sidearm. I'm throwing a hawk here, and I thought this was really good, but... It's fading out, and it's a little bit short there. So, I mean, I got a long look, but definitely not one that I'm counting on making to start here. Got Evan here. Now, Evan is also a team underground along with yourself, correct? Mm hmm And he is really closely rated to you guys. It'll be interesting. And he's also the same age as you, correct? You're both 16? No, I'm 15. He is 16, though. And, um, oh, okay. Yeah, we're both pretty similar. It was really cool to get to meet him and hang out with him um, the whole for at least this round and saw him in between rounds and stuff mm -hmm. and that was cool yeah this isn't too bad you're probably what 60 feet just outside circle two maybe yeah yeah oh and a healthy bid there not quite tall enough but it was a good bid indeed mm -hmm. robert here with the best chance he's probably closer to 45 50 feet here yeah gives that one a good run good height just a little bit left side there mm-hmm uh, Robert's an Innova only bag, correct? Yeah, he's been trying to get picked up by Innova. He's on Team Gorilla Disc Golf, something I never heard of until I played with him. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, he really likes their plastic and he throws it well. Yeah, he's uh, he like you said, he's from Texas, but he does go to school at the University of Michigan. We'll forgive him for that, but um, I'll forgive him for that. I'm so, I, I'm certain you're a fan, but uh, he's been able to hang out in Michigan and. I'm certain to get a little practice here, which gives him a, a competitive edge as our card here is going to take a star par. Not super surprising. The hole can be pretty difficult if you don't get it within circle there, and you're going to be looking to score here on hole two. Yeah, hole two. This hole, um, this one's tricky because you can try, attempt to go big off the tee, and the hill kind of levels a little bit more into a less steep area if you can push it like 450 up the hill, but that's a rip off the tee. Um, I feel like a more common play is to try to lay up to the bottom where you still have a flat run up so you can really try to rip it up the hill. A four on this hole is not bad. Three is a huge bonus birdie here. Right. I was gonna say probably it's it's a it's a choice in where you want your big pull. It's either off the tee trying to land into that flat spot on the hill or laying up short where I mean Kelsey, this is a great drive. Putting it right next to the short pad gives you a chance at just getting it up the hill. Yeah, I believe Evan's throwing a Z nuke here, and he gets this one turned real nice, and he pushes almost up to the next level, which yeah. that's a really good shot, and he has a chance to try to go for it from there. Yeah, tough spot from the hill itself, though, because that uphill kind of ramp where you're at is 
going to take a lot of power off. Yeah, exactly. And it looks like Roberts has nothing to do with that. He's going to put it in the left side, which is totally fine for a backhand player, right? Yeah, and Robert can throw so far, he can almost even attack the top of the hill from there. Um, I'm going to, I'm trying to go with my more stable nuke here, try to play it to the bottom. And this slips out a little early. Um, and it's right next to Kelsey, so not a bad shot, yep. but not as far towards the base of the hill as I'd like to. For sure. Not going to be really looking to get into attack range from there. Just, gotcha. just trying to keep it in the fairway. Yeah. Kelsey does, does a nice job, puts hers in the center fairway. And really, you're in prime position. Just take a, an easy four as long as you don't variant into the woods here. And this is a spectacular looking drive just short of the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. Probably see the top of the band from there. Yeah, I think... I don't think I could quite, but I was almost to the top of the hill, and I'll have a pretty simple approach into the green. Robert gets this a good height. It just needs to miss the stuff on the left, and it does, He's and a, it gets almost to the top of the hill there. Yep, just to the top hill. Evan here from... And there's the run-up that's yeah. not letting him... That's a tough spot. Yeah. I'm very strange. Uh, one of my favorite courses in uh, the Kelms area is called Romo, and my favorite pad's a downhill pad. The up there's one that's also uphill and it's terrible throwing up hills i i can't do it at all so good on evan getting at least up the hill there yeah and kelsey makes it to the top of the hill there in three and that's still good she kept in the fairway the whole way kept it under control and i thought i threw this too short but it turned out to be just right i didn't yeah, that, exactly, looks, that looks fine to me <laughs> didn't exactly know how how far i was away from the basket i felt like i fluffed it but it got there and that'll be an easy four for me Robert can see the basket. He's going to take a run at this. Oh, and he gives it a really good bid there. I don't know if I could quite see that from where I was. That was a lot closer than I thought. Yeah, just a touch short. Evan also giving a up shot there, giving it a bid. Yeah. Touch short there, but he's going to be close enough to tap in his par. Yeah, and Evan and I were talking about it, and he's like, I just threw two like max distance shots, and I didn't even get to the top of the hill. And it's that's how this hole is. It's crazy. And Kelsey goes a little long there and a oh, little no. low on her putt. A little nerves to start our first round here. Um, it just kind of puts in perspective too. I mean, this if you if you're looking this course right now, you probably know it from Paul Spence 18 down, um, and watching his second shot from being the short position to attacking all the way up the hill just kind of shows you how big that shot really is. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I feel like the only way, unless you throw like five. 50 to really get yourself into a position to attack the screen is to get to that next level going 450 plus off the tee pipe because then the hill does level out and you can take a better run up but if you're on the super steep side it's almost impossible to get it up there for sure hole three now 915 feet we do have ob in play here on the left side the right side is not lined as ob but it is very, very thick, and even with spotters, discs have been lost because of where they go in. Uh, so there is a drop zone as well in case a player goes there, but the OB on the left follows all the way up towards the green here, up on that left side. you got to stay in the fairway. Safest play, I would say, is probably a backhand righty. You just kind of follow the hill down into the fairway and then use your shot to get attack the green from there. Yeah, this hole's tee shot is its difficulty, I feel, because you mm -hmm. can... The thing with this hole is you have to be so accurate. You have to place your disc just right, as Evan does here. That'll be right. Yeah, that's That'll great. be an attack position for sure. You want to play down the hill, just throw a disc that you know you can keep straight because the right is like a natural OB, and the left is OB, so you really just got to keep it safe here. Roberts oh, is drifting choke left. Choke up. Choke up. Oh, and that skip got him into that OB spot. Luckily, it, from this, so there's no drop zone from the OB on the left. It's kind yep. of just like a lost OB for the right side, as I understand it. Yes. So he'll be able to take it from that spot, which is an attackable position to save his par. And this is looking fantastic from you. Holy smokes. Yes, that was best case scenario. I threw an undertaker there, and it drifted down the left side, slowly turning right, right to the middle. And that, the that was one of my best drives. Z, is that a Z undertaker? No, that one is an ESP one. Hmm. Slightly flippier than my Z, and Kelsey throws a great drive this there. This is spectacular. She's, you know, she's rated higher than I am, 940, I think 6, if I recall correctly. Yep. Uh, she's a fantastic, super consistent player. Kind of got unlucky a little bit with some nerves and um, on the last hole, but she looks like she's back locked in, and Evan just parked it from that position. That's a spectacular shot. Mm -hmm. 
and she's the nicest person you will ever meet. So, yeah, she was super see. nice. This has got to stay up. Oh, yeah. And it does, and it gets a little bit of a skip and a little bit of a roll. Not bad, though. Yep, in circle. Robert and, throwing his third. Yeah, Robert's got to cut this close so that he can take his par. Because taking a par here, you're losing not too many strokes on most of the field. No, That's okay. It's, and Robert it's did it. definitely threeable. It's yep. just... It's a good three, um, and a four is also not bad. And I'm you're taking a forehand here. I just didn't want to take my eye off the basket, and Ooh. I was pretty lucky to stay in bounds. I threw, I thought I threw it straight OB there, but I'm I'm in bounds here with like a 55, 60 footer, and yeah. definitely disappointed that upshot after that perfect drive. I was really hoping to get up and down for a three there. See if you can get the birdie here. Good line again off the basket from you. Yeah, I thought I had it. Yeah. Couldn't grab my disc either. Wow, that's <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> oh, oh my no. gosh. That, that wow, that caught chain and then the inside rim. I but completely forgot about that. That did not stay in. Wow, that's unlucky. She really played the hole really well too. And not to get rewarded that way, but Evan playing it perfectly there. Yeah. Couldn't have an easier three. And Robert getting a really nice par here after going OB. Yeah, and he, he really played the hole perfect. He just took a bigger skip off the drive than he was obviously looking for. Mm -hmm. He got a three, just hit, went OB, and that's, that's just how it is. Take a quick uh, look at our sponsors here before we come back. Most people just see a disc. At Discraft, we see over 40 years of innovation. Driven by passion consistency that inspires talent. Built on a foundation. Designed for success. Over four decades of experience. Behind your first throw. Hole four, par four, 580 feet. This one is a more gettable par four on the course, in my opinion. It's about 350, 400 to the landing zone, which is past these pine trees and in, in the middle of these ones here. If you can get past this first layer, this shot really becomes a whole lot easier to throw. My personal play is to throw a hyzer off the tee to landing zone and then throw a forehand up to the green, playing it into the hill, slowing the disc down right to the basket. Throwing something faster is that forehand? Um, I I would be throwing a raptor if I got to the per yeah. perfect spot because yep. it's it's only like 200 feet, but you would using that hill. You you yeah. want to use that hill and get that ground play right up to it. I've been a little far right there is going to be out of position, mm -hmm. probably to attack for that birdie, but um, still in a good enough position to probably save the four. Robert going Halo Destroyer here, and I know he, he was throwing this a lot this weekend for his more overstable that's hyzer ideal. shots, and that's perfect. Yep. That's right where you want to land. He attacked far enough forward to be kind of past most of those trees, because that's the, that's the mistake, I think, is that if you go too short, those trees are so low hanging that it kind of cuts off mm -hmm. your approach shot there. But Like this. This is in, this yep. is in trouble of, like, that's going to be a tricky spot there. Yep. I think I... I'll have a lane, but it's it's not the greatest spot for sure. Shout out to our sponsor. That's actually Kelsey's father. Really? Yes. I did not know that. That's cool. He's volunteering while he was out here supporting his daughter. That's awesome to see so many people come out and support this event. Yeah, thank you to the spotters. I know they were out there from 7 in the morning to when we came through. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that was – it's cool to see how much dedication they have. Kelsey with a great upshot getting uh, to the base of that hill there. Evan with a, a roller attempt trying to save that three. He's going to be sawed off a little early. You actually have a pretty a bigger window than I thought you would from this spot. This this is still tight. I'm really For just sure. trying not to hit the trees. I'm throwing an undertaker here, my more stable one, and it flips to flat and it scooches up to the edge of circle one there. I'll have about a 32 footer mm -hmm. to get the with, birdie three. With the death putt, because there's a hill behind that basket yeah, there. Yeah. Robert having to go to a knee. His he's got such a crazy snap. Yes, um, his snap is ridiculous. It's he, really intimidating when he pulls that towel out of his bag and starts whipping <laughs> it around. I remember that when he was warming up, it sounded like someone shot out like a firecracker. You're like what is that? And just Robert warming up. Yeah, and then I was like, Ooh, I, I tried to show him up, and I took out my towel, and the handle broke off. <laughs> 
Evan, unfortunately, getting caught up in some branches. You can see he's disappointed. Thought he was going to be able to save his four, but he's looking like it might be a bogey now. Yeah. Kelsey, Kelsey oh, that's gonna slides stop. Way, a little bit over the hill there. I believe that's an Ironman meteor, and you'll see her throw that a little bit more yep. today, too. I agree. Evan here from distance. Gets yes. It. Low left Good side. Time. Yeah. It catches every time. You don't want to hit middle height on the right, but low left is a yep. really good spot. I say they, they like fast, aggressive putts. They do not like soft putts. No. Which is really good for me because I'm a very aggressive putter, yeah. even though I'm not playing. Yeah. Putt. Great putt from you. Good first birdie yeah. for you. Yeah, I definitely needed that to get my yeah. round going. And yeah, how many birdies are you trying to get here in the first four holes? Um, in three. the first four holes, I'd like to get three and four if I can. One and two are definitely bonus birdies, but one down through four is not a bad start. And, uh, yeah, Kelsey. I'm definitely not too excited about even, um, but one under par is something that I find acceptable so yep. for my experience. You can work with, yeah. And Kelsey with a great putt there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm odds. Hole five, 480 feet, uh, 146 meters. This is one of the new holes, so this course did get a redesign um, during the off season here. They've added pads, so it used to be rubber pads, now there's cement. Lots of great additions to this course. This is one of the new holes. It's a tunnel shot here through the woods. Uh, downhill the whole way, you have this green here. A couple protective kind of trees right before you get to the green. Um, most people are going to be shooting something really straight as far as they can get this. Um, the farther down the fairway, the better it is t attackable, but I would probably call this a bonus birdie as well. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what Robert's throwing here. Oh, and he catches the tree. Um, I believe it's an eagle. I don't mm. exactly know if it was 11 yeah. time or 12 time, but it, I know it's a champion eagle. I'm throwing an undertaker, so pretty similar disc stability wise. Yep. Um, both trying to get a fairway driver because the ground play towards the green, it slopes down a bit, and if you're coming in too hot, it can be dangerous. This drifting left catches a tree, fortunately uh, dropping me right in the middle, and that'll be about a 200-foot yep. upshot there. You know, uh, the drone footage was very wet. I had to go back after the event to finish the uh, drone footage because we were kind of like 11th hour decided to do this event. Um, so we had to go back later, which was raining all the time. The It's actually very hot today, correct? It's like really, really warm. Um, yeah, the whole weekend, I believe the average was probably – Pretty close to 80 degrees. It was, a, I found it pretty nice, and I was so focused on the disc golf that I, it's hard for me to tell. And sure, yeah. But the ground here is much harder and perfect for skipping. We saw Roberts kind of yes. glide over the yeah, you, you over can, the dirt, especially on this hole with the disc coming down at such a high speed. It's mm -hmm. so easy for your disc to just pick up and skip and slide for so far. And I'm throwing a roach here, trying to land it short so that it won't. Go so too far so past, and it, it catches those wood chips pretty well, and that'll be a pretty short putt for a par six. Yeah. I like this hole a lot. Um, I think all three additions are actually really good. Um, mm -hmm. One of them is very hard, which we'll see later in the round, but um, I really am interested to see our pros play that in D-Glow uh, and seeing how you guys compare to this because it's such a it has such a new feel. Uh, even only it's just three holes. It's, it has such this unique feel to it now. Yeah, this there is there are a couple more courses in Kensington Metro Park, the Black Locust courses, and this real this hole really reminds me of yes. the newer course at Black Locust mm -hmm. South. These long wooded holes, um, not too terribly tight, but very long. Feels very like a big Ashtimo to me. Yes. Robert will put that close, and that'll be an easy par for him. Mm -hmm. I've been picking up the par. And that's fine here. Like I said, I think I think this is a bonus birdie. Um, in most cases, it, for the bigger arms like you guys, you're wanting to attack it, and you got to use that ground play to kind of do it. Um, but if you don't get there in circle, which none of you did, just taking your par and moving on is your, your guys are doing fine. Oh no! After locking in on the previous hole, looks like Kelsey has fallen. A little errant there with that last putt. Robert's half and can a little frisky that it felt kind of right off his hand. You see it in his face, he's like, eh, yeah, it went in. Yeah, rough start for Kelsey. Let's see if she can go Start capitalizing. Hole six, par four, 519. The other new hole, this one. It's a little bit awkward. Um, off the tee, you're looking to throw a kind of a subtle backhand flex shot. Sidearm, 
is a viable play, but you probably won't get up to where you want to, um, which is just a little short of where the drone is flying now. And then there's this big hill. You'd like to clear it to get yourself a look at the birdie. Definitely a two-shot hole. Reaching this one and one is not not yeah. something that can happen. And I, I'll stand by that. Someone yeah, can prove me wrong, but yeah, yeah. I mean, if Reed Frisco wants to show up and and throw through the woods on the lefty line and the local route, go for it. But it's gonna take about a thousand attempts. Yeah. <laughs> This this is yeah. ideal here. I mean, he probably wanted yeah. to be pushing another anywhere between 50 and 100 feet up towards where those signs are at on yeah, the ground. Getting to the boards is a really good drive, yeah. and anywhere in the fairway is good. And I'm throwing a pretty straight nuke on some turn here, and it's ESP? missing all the trees. Yep, and it that looks great. Yep, just short of the boards, and that's a that's pretty much right where I wanted to land. A little bit right. I'm gonna be tucked up against a tree there, but definitely a really good shot that i'm happy with yeah absolutely i wish i could do that maybe one day here we got evan he looks like he's trying to do that turnover as well misses a lot of stuff and it looks like he kind of took a little power off maybe just to make sure he stayed in the fairway yeah ti undertaker i believe his flippier one at that and it turns beautifully for him and here's that pangolin die disc i really want to know what this is I know she throws a bit of a mixed bag, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, flies like an Avenger SS most of the time. So similar to that. I don't know if that's what it is, but really it flies like one. Yeah. Now she's got a choice to make. Oh, she's going for over the hill here, which I like. I like the aggressive play. Just a touch right there, and I think she's going to land in that valley. If she was a little more left, she probably would have peeked over that valley and been on the other side for a three look. Mm -hmm. She'll have a... Pretty simple approach there, I believe. And Robert gets this little flex going. He's gonna he, be... he doesn't quite beat the right side trees. He'll have a long look, but that's a really scary putt to run. There's definitely a hill on that right side that when it was raining, it was hard to stand on. But even when dry, it's going to be a difficult position to stand. In. And Evan hitting the front side of the hill, not quite getting the skip he wanted to get mm -hmm. to the basket. He'll also have a long look there. And oh, I, yeah, you are squished up. A great mm -hmm. drive distance-wise. Just yeah. a little pinched up against the tree, unluckily. And I... Raptor? Yes, and I want to see what happens oh, here. Oh, you juiced yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, what happened. picked up an edge. Yeah, I that hill. threw it too hard, and yeah, that's what happens. I just I was stuck between zone and Raptor, and I tried to range find it, but I couldn't get it through all the trees. And if I had to go back there, I would probably disc down to a zone because I didn't really feel like I threw that too hard. Great putt yeah. by Rob. Yeah. 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 Um, this big one yeah. in. Yeah. Just a little long on my upshot. Evan with a look. Oh, a little left sit, sit down. Sit. Uh, it's going to be a tough putt, but he's got one. Yep. Yeah, this is like, this is just almost half a, run. Right yeah, there's... like, because you, you can't even get too aggressive because if you, oh my. That's the third time you've been on perfect align, just a touch short. Yeah, and I don't. Yeah, I just need to get that figured out. Hopefully, start making a couple of those. Yeah, I'm down. Here we got Evan. This is probably Circle's Edge. Yeah. It's gonna stay up and it does. It. Yeah. He doesn't putt with Luna's. He putts with Luna's. Yep. That rubber blend. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you putt with Challenger. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can never tell because they're double stamped, right? Yes, yeah. I got these in my spot. Nice. That was cool. And they match your shirt, so you're just like really decked out today. Yes. Women are being featured in the magazine. The women are out there, the pro women, so then it kind of motivates a lot of us amateurs to like go out there and not be afraid. I would love to see more tournaments like this in the future for women's disc golf. I want to see more women filling spots in a tournament than men. That'd be something to brag about. Disc golf's legit and we're here to stay and we're gonna make names for ourselves. Say yes to disc golf! <laughs>Hole seven now, par four, 667 feet. Um, it plays a little different than it does in D-Glow. There is not a mandatory here on this first tree on the hill. You are able to go to the left side of that, but really ideally you wanna go right where the drone is right now, land in this landing zone so you can see right down the pipe towards the basket here. From there, you're throwing a mid-range or a putter up the gut here and try to use the hill to keep it close. 
Uh, three here is spectacular. Um, four is okay, but if you for you guys, you're you know a lot of you guys have probably not gotten into the groove you want yet, so you guys are looking to kind of execute and take advantage. Yeah, definitely a hole you're wanting to get a three on, and that's a Mando in Deglo. Yes, it has okay. been in the past. Okay, I was unaware of that, but that'll be good to know going into Deagle. Obviously, you're trying to go right of the tree, but in this tournament, left is acceptable for sure. I, I, don't, I, did, I really didn't watch it last year, so maybe it's not anymore, but I have remembered in the past they have made that Amando. So okay. If I'm wrong, don't roast me too much on the comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert. I'm going Paige Pierce Nuke here, okay. and I got yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I was really happy with that shot. Yeah, I mean, like, he's six inches left, and you're sitting in pure fairway but i mean that's ideal that that far you see the see the basket everything looks good there yeah and i'll i'll be able to choose between backhand and forehand from mm -hmm. that right side there i've been coming i've been coming a little bit short there but yep he'll definitely have a shot from over there yep that left side is open and then kelsey's probably trying to do the same thing she's going to leave it out wide and then just kind of play into that gap and honestly, a lot of backhand righty players probably prefer that left side of that tree in some ways because you can throw a more stable disc if you're up on top of the ledge. Oh, no, a misfire into the left. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's going to be in jail there. That's going to be a really tricky shot from there. We'll see what she has. Evan kind of cut off a little too far left here. Probably want to be another 10 feet to the right. Yeah, and that's going to – looks like it turned a little too much, but he, no. Yeah, this actually, is going to be great. Worked yeah. great. I looked like it was a little right out of his hand, but stable St disc. Yeah. Faded out for him there. He'll have a long look. Robert here from a little bit farther back in the edge of the woods there. This is a putter from him, I believe. Yeah, and he gets it through that ceiling, a little bit below the ceiling. That's perfect. Yeah. Well played from Robert. And that's the advantage of being able to see the gap is just throwing it right to the basket. And I'm going with my Raptor again. Oh, and come it, on. It swings. Yeah, it goes. Yep, that's almost pin high, 20 feet. Is that a Yuli Raptor? Yep, in 2021 Tour okay. Series. Very cool. And Kelsey was saying before this shot, I know this is the stupid thing to do, so don't make fun of me if it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but it, it actually it worked. Yeah, it jumped okay. up and went across the fairway a little too much. Yeah, but she hit her initial gap, I think, so... This is a tough spot. Splitting a it couple needs to trees. Sit down, and it does. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, there is a danger that if that had caught edge, that might have gone down the hill on the left side, and that would have been disastrous. Evan from 40, 45. Good putt. Oh, dang. Dang. Great job. Yeah. Really high. good putt. So very aggressive. It's going to stay in. Yeah, high dead center on these baskets catches really well. There you go. Good, good catch. Good birdie from you. Yeah, hoping, hoping to do that all three rounds if possible. Yeah, and you guys are kind of kind of setting a pace here. You guys are looking a little better now. Fortunate bogey from Kelsey there, but kind of got a little unlucky and uh, had some unfortunate lies there, but yeah. able to salvage a five. Two under, three under, the start is not bad for sure. Um, yeah, today the course was playing pretty, pretty uh, I don't want to say easy because this course is super hard and you can get into trouble really fast. But for sure. a thousand rated was playing two down, yep. three down. Yep. Oh yeah, and here we go. Hole eight, par four, 500 feet, playing much further and definitely a two-shot hole. Very tricky. Yes. Um, you want to get out the gap and push as far left as you can because there's no OB rope on the left side anymore. You can push it as far left as you want. Hopefully not in the weeds, but it allows you to get super far left to play up the hill towards the pin you just you have to get out the gap mm -hmm. you, like must yeah if you don't get past this gap you're in huge trouble and robert kind of clinching a little bit there hoping he barely gets out. does but that's perfect yeah that's you can't throw a, like a better shot on this hole and what do you I'm, got here i'm throwing that raptor again okay and this I is want, pure yes yes and it's in the fairway and it gets a little skip up that hill too, mm -hmm. so I would be like to be a little bit more left, but I got out the gap, and I'm always going to be happy with that. Was this a nuke from him as well? I believe so. This one's got to be pretty stable, I'd imagine. Yep, there it goes. Start hooking left. 
Looks like maybe a little too straight initially, though, because he's going to be caught up in those weeds on the right side, which is not where he wants to be. Um, didn't, looks like we didn't get the tee shot really well from Kelsey. She caught the right side stuff and kicked back. No, there and it there is. is. I thought I she saw something. Out. Thought I saw something hit those trees and kick back left, but no, she'll it, have a. I tell you what, when I edit a lot, when I see birds and like little fluffs fall over the place, I'm like watching it and thinking I'm supposed to edit that, and then it's not that at all. <laughs> so she, I do that all the time. That's a really good shot from there. She'll, yeah, she'll have even a chance to throw it in from there for sure. Now this is a pretty steep hill. Like, you can't really see it as well in the camera. I mean, but this is this is a climb. Yes, this is one where you're throwing. Almost a full power Anheuser with like a mid or a fairway from the ideal spot, mm -hmm. or at least from the middle of the fairway. But if you turn it too much, you can get a cut roll, and that's not what you want either. So this is all about angle and speed control, and I throw this way inside of what I want. Oh, the trees are getting it. Cuts yeah. through the trees a little bit, though, and all. Yeah. I'm like 45 feet. Yeah. yeah, this is ideal. Holy smokes. If you can throw a forehand second shot here... And this is me saying this from like a 300 foot forehand, then you are in the ideal spot. And I was only able to, in practice, I was only able to throw a forehand one time to get it there. So yeah. it's, it's. Because you, I mean, you got to get your disc way left. Mm -hmm. And you're worried about hitting a gap so much that. Oh, great bid from her. Good height. Just a touch too far right. And yep, there you are just inside the woods. Yeah, lucky to get to this other side or even have a look. And I was just a little right there. Hmm. This is one that I would like to give, especially from being in the fairway, but unable to capitalize there. Happen here from just outside. You can kind of see those green. Yeah. 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 He's gone two for two now for those. He's really good at those step putts. Like you said, super aggressive putter. Mm -hmm. Never lays up. Yeah, and honestly, that's probably one of the safer putts he had so far, just because there's a backstop right behind that basket. So even though errant miss wouldn't have gone more than 20 maybe 25 feet mm -hmm. nice easy tap ins it's, it's at least if you're not going to get the birdie a stress-free par feels pretty good at least yeah yeah i'm not upset with just being under par is a good thing on this course for sure hole nine now 462 feet you see where the drone is going it looks like i'm going into oblivion but i'm not i swear you're wanting to go over these trees and then attack down into this basket location it's a huge shot it's very far left um you, and it takes a pretty big hyzer to get there in one and this this hole is it's a bit of a luck box you can throw this initial shot and you can hit a line that yep. you're obviously trying for but it it's a little bit lucky if you end up where you want to after that yeah robert uh, going a little earlier before our catch cam guy was in position, so we didn't see where he landed yet. We're going to have to check out where he's at once we get down there. Evan landing perfect center of the fairway, but um, pretty far away, so he's going to give that a half bid probably. Yeah, and I'm going with a uh, force here, pretty overstable. I think this was a little high out of my hand. Um, you can see it drop out of the sky, yep. And I think I'm going to have a long bid from there. Kelsey, Kelsey doing the same thing out wide. It comes in a little right side there. That yep. Looks like that might be a little bit tricky. We'll see what she has from there. She's probably going to have to go to that backhand again. She does. And she is scooting up. Oh, yeah, there she is. Probably circle edge. Yeah. That's going to be a putt, though, for her par save. Here's Evan, and he's probably 120. <laughs> I would say more like 90, but, okay. he, yeah, he was able to give it a kind of a run there but obviously not one that he's wanting wanting right. to make bit from you and i thought oh I made that no putt. i thought i made that putt. that but looked good that's that's right where the baskets don't catch and if you don't you don't hit them in the center they, they won't catch robert with his kind of first miss of the round there i do really oh, kelsey did the yeah. same thing you did yeah, I do really like these baskets, though. They challenge you to hit the center, and they don't spit out, so they reward you when you have a good putt. I know spit outs from the center do happen sometimes, but these baskets reward you when you're putting well. And they do sometimes catch on the right side. It's just not, not everything. Right. I 
like every other basket, it's not going to catch everything. Just enough. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good finishes in here. Kelsey with an unlucky bogey there, but let's take a look at our front nine scores here. Robert leading the pace at four down. You just a couple strokes back at two down. Evan at three down. And Kelsey at plus five right now. It's a pretty good race between you three. Uh, it's also good to see Kelsey's line here. I'm, I'm definitely more in her like criteria of power and control, so it's always good to see where uh, my lines and watching a player attack it in a different way. But thanks again to our Patreon supporters, and we're super excited to see you guys on the back nine.